Morning. Um, all good. Yeah, the number five. That yeah, 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 and then I'll get um, just another. Uh, I don't know. It's too early. What do I want? Uh, I'll just get another egg McMuffin meal. But uh, could you give me uh, apple juice? Uh, just the egg McMuffin. And medium apple juice. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll get an extra hash brown. Sure. And I think that's it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 5 a.m. going to Lake Moraine. 5 a.m. coffee. Ready to go. We ordered the whole restaurant. Oh, we're at Lake Louise, the Lake Moraine parking lot was already full at 6 in the morning, so I don't know what time you're supposed to get here, but oh, there's an osprey. It's not, it's lots of people. Lake Louise. Lake Moraine's closed, so we're gonna try to go to Gondola, Lake Louise. fence all around this area here up the gondola lots of bears in this area we're hoping to see some do a little guided hike it's 
see there's a few different trails we can do. Darmigan Valley Viewpoint, Pika Trail. So we're gonna go at the interpretive center here. We're gonna walk this area. We had to pay to get a guide to go with us. It's part of the, the sanctuary. And uh, there's other trails too we could do, but uh, we'll start with that one, the easy one, with the guide, with the family, and uh, we'll see after that. That's a Lake Agnes. No. Ah. You guys are exactly right. It's Lake Louise. Uh, we didn't even hit this. It's Lake, Lake Louise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's uh, there's there's actually a, there's actually a lot of history down there because the because uh, the mountain, uh, the mountain behind Lake Louise. Do you guys know what the name of that is? No. Tersa. Tersa? No, Tersa. No, we don't know. Mount Victoria. Oh, oh Mount Victoria behind yeah, Lake Louis. <laughs> <laughs> now, assuming it was working, do you think this would be this would be good or bad at deterring bears? Yeah. The, so uh, I I don't know if you guys have been hiking when someone yeah. with a bear bell walks by. Yeah. How far away can you hear it from? Not that far. Exactly. Yeah. So right. So much much like uh so much much like us. The bears can't hear it from that far away, and the entire point of this is to alert a bear that you're coming ahead of time. Yeah. Kind yeah. of fails to do that. Right. Yeah. So obviously, uh, obviously, if a bear's coming, you want to actually use the thing. Yeah. So you want to hold it out, make sure you brace it so that you know if you don't spread and it goes. Ah. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> that would generally be a bad time. Yeah. So yeah. arms outstretched, take your safety off. Then you want to aim just above the face of the bear. Maybe spray a little just to make a cloud in front of you that the bear can run into. And you just wait. We continue just to make sure that we're safe. Go on to our call again. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. There we go. C'est le fort. Awesome. Hey bear. Go see that. Shall I have Oh, look at that. A deer. It's a deer. Dispatch 29 Sean, dispatch wildlife report. That's cool. I want to learn about the buffalo berries. <laughs> yeah. 
the so, so yeah, the, uh, the the indigenous peoples took this leaf, flipped it over, saw all those brown specks on the uh, on the leaf, and went, hmm, what does that look like? Oh, like a herd of buffalo. Oh, really? On a herd of buffalo, or no? Yeah, a herd of buffalo on the uh, yeah. on the plains. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So when ripe, they will look something like this. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's what mons that's like also, more yeah. earlier, eh? Think we're too close to the deer already. Yes, yeah, that's right. Because uh, I cannot, uh, no, well, no, <laughs> just half of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's stay here, let's go cross. We have to stay here. Do you see it? Yeah. We're taking a video. He's eating the grass. Yeah. Yeah. Be larger. We're headed back down to show you guys the views. Whoa, look at those mountains. But it's cool like just to look at the the, the forest floor from this height. You can see what attracts the, the bears in this area. It's all that buffalo berry. And you can really see the shrubs all in between all the trees. See, those are kind of the light, light green color. Those are the buffalo berries. That shrub right in the middle of the screen, that's a buffalo berry shrub. And they don't grow if the forest is too dense, but where there's openings, buffalo they'll berry, grow away eh? like this one. On one of the signs that uh, they can eat up to 200,000 berries, the grizzlies in one day, which is equivalent to the same calories from 75 hamburgers. So, yeah, they need to forage quite a bit. We didn't see any yet today, unfortunately, but we saw some deer. No, no. Moi aussi j'ai aimé ça. Peut-être aimé ça aussi te lever le matin de pendant un 